People all over America are wanting to read and study the Constitution. They want to know what the principles are that made our nation great. Well, we've got a special program for you available now called Constitution Alive with David Barton and Rick Green. And it's actually a teaching done on the Constitution at Independence Hall in the very room where the Constitution was framed. We take you both to Philadelphia, the Cradle of Liberty and Independence Hall, and to the Wall Builders Library, where David Barton brings the history to life to teach the original intent of our founding fathers. We call it the Quick Start Guide to the Constitution because in just a few hours through these videos, you will learn the Citizen's Guide to America's Constitution. You'll learn what you need to do to help save our constitutional republic. It's fun, it's entertaining, and it's gonna inspire you to do your part to preserve freedom for future generations. Constitution Alive with David Barton and Rick Green. This course will be led by my friend and colleague Rick Green. Rick is an attorney and former state legislator who for years has worked with me at Wall Builders as a speaker, writer, and teacher on the Constitution and the Founding Fathers. This is our goal to accomplish what John Jay told us. He said that every member of the state ought diligently to read and to study. So not just read the Constitution, but to study the Constitution. Why? He tells us so that we can teach the rising generation to be free. So we can pass the torch intact to the next generation. And then he tells us so that we'll know our rights, we'll sooner perceive when they've been violated, and we'll be the better prepared to defend and assert them. That's our goal. The classroom presentation that you're about to join is an opportunity for you to regain the intimate working knowledge that every citizen and student once had of our Constitution. We go through every article, every amendment. We get into the Founding Fathers. We talk about what they actually intended. We talk about what those words meant in 1787, not necessarily what they mean today, but what was the original intent. We cover subjects from whether or not state nullification of a federal law is the right way to go. We talk about D.C. statehood, impeachment, the Electoral College, executive orders, recess appointments and czars, the First Amendment freedom of religion, individual God-given rights versus group government-given rights, whether or not the Constitution is evolving and the proper role of the courts and their accountability to the people. All of these topics covered right there at Independence Hall in the class that you can join via DVD. You can actually attend one of my live classes around the country by signing up at rickgreen.com. Click on constitutional class. It will list the cities we're coming to. And if you'd like us to come to your city and we're not already headed there, then just shoot us an email and we'll try to get a class scheduled. You can get the entire course on DVD and CD, so you're right there with us in Independence Hall, even including all the questions and answers. It's all right there on the DVD. You'll get your own copy of My Caller's The Constitution Made Easy, a wonderful tool in studying the Constitution, as well as getting the fill-in-the-blank study guide that goes with the course so that it'll become a great reference tool for you to teach your family and friends about the Constitution. Check it out at wallbuilders.com. The entire class is on DVD and on MP3, so you can watch those videos and get all the quotes and the powerfully inspiring stories that are shared with you at the library in Alito at Wall Builders and also in Philadelphia at Independence Hall. But then you can also listen in the car for review. Additionally, we've got a bonus CD, God in the Constitution by David Barton. All of it available for you right now, Constitution Alive with David Barton and Rick Green. Here's a sneak peek. Welcome back to Constitution Alive with David Barton and Rick Green. In our first chapter, we kind of laid the foundation, talked about our purpose and approach and why it's important to study the Constitution. Now we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the, the secret sauce. Really, we're going to find out what that formula is that made the American experiment so successful. So David, why are we not going to start with the Constitution? Why don't we back up a decade to the Declaration? We, go, we have to go to the Declaration because it's the document that set forth the principles. So the Constitution said, you remember those principles we, we gave you 11 years ago? Well, here's, here's the way we want them applied. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. In order to union, form a more perfect union. And secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. These United Colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. In order to make our union stronger. That they are endowed by their creator with certain and able rights, and among these are life, 
liberty in the pursuit of happiness. Welcome to Constitutional Live right here in Independence Hall from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are in the room where both the Constitution and the Declaration were adopted. This is exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you. We're very honored to be able to be in this room. I'm actually standing in the, in the very spot where American giants like John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and others actually had the courage to light the torch of freedom. This is the room. These, are, these walls actually witnessed the great debates of Benjamin Franklin and Madison and Mason and Hamilton and other patriots that hashed out those details to our American Constitution. So to actually be in this room where it happened is very, very exciting for me. Those documents led to and paved the way for the greatest, most free, most amazing nation in the history of the world. And this is where it all began, right here. In fact, that chair behind me that you can see, that's where George Washington sat as he presided over that Constitutional Convention. I hope that you will dive in and study the Constitution. Let's do what Chief Justice John Jay suggested we should do. Let's read and study the Constitution.